world is becoming more complex, okay? I mean, overwhelmingly complex. It is becoming more diverse, and it is therefore becoming more uncertain. Three things. And when I talk to leaders all over the world, you look at all the latest research, those three things pop out. The IBM study of CEOs has said that the CEOs believe complexity will be the greatest problem they face, and they think the organization is not ready for it. Mm. That diversity is obviously something that that leaders have got to learn how to deal with if you have a global talent pool, and that and that with complexity and diversity, uh, the risk factor and the uncertainty factor has to go up, which drives. Um, uh, uh, traditional managers crazy and particularly achievement driven people mm. who love to have a 98% perfectionistic chance of success and what we're finding is that people are going to have to make decisions at a 78% success probability rather than a 95% and that what that leads to is some people who just can't they can't handle that because it's too much personal risk and that gets to the question of courage and how integrated you are. And so all of that leads to this, this mantra, which is that the more complex, diverse, uh, and uncertain the world becomes, the more people or leaders have to choose between right and right. And when that happens, that is not an analytical question. You know, you can write a paper a fact-based paper that can give you a 99% probability that A is the right answer. And you can write a paper that will give you a 99% probability that B is the right answer. And you have to make a decision. And it ain't going to be analytical. It's going to be based on something else. So what is it going to be based on? Well, it's going to be based on what we think of three things. One is when leaders face choosing between right and right, they have to go deep inside themselves to determine who they are, which is the self-awareness thing, uh, what they're trying to accomplish, which is the, what am I doing in this organization or the world, and what do I have the courage to be known for? When you're choosing between right and right, some, it takes courage because whatever you choose, there are going to be a large group of people who don't like you. I think that we have to move the academic community to cross cross disciplinary thinking and collaboration and teach kids from a cross disciplinary perspective because the world is now intertwined. On the one hand, very specialized, but on the other hand, it's so systemic that uh, without systemic thinking, it's very hard to to really even begin to understand things. And it leads, I think, without systemic thinking, you wind up with the illusion that somehow you can you can burrow yourself away somewhere and not have to know anything else about anybody else in a world that's completely interdependent. I mean, one of the things that I think is, is completely gone that everybody just should stop worrying about is privacy. I think that it's, you know, it's, it's a thing of the past the interconnectedness of the intelligence systems and the surveillance of, of, of the world is is already so far beyond us. And that's where you get into this, some of the moral questions. I mean, there are lots of moral, huge moral questions that will be coming up. You should have philosophers working with political scientists and working with sociologists to talk about to, to get kids to understand the interrelatedness of things and that they, you just can't learn about one thing without having some understanding of the other. So, I mean, holistic would be one word, the holistic sense of mind, body, and self, and then systemic in terms of the human being within the, the world. And, uh, you know, I teach my thing is contextual leadership which basically says that the way you lead depends on the context you're in, and the context is defined by the global, the organizational, the cultural factors of you know, where you are at a particular point in time in your life. So everything, whether it's holistic, systemic, or contextual, 
everything is moving toward uh, getting people to understand the broader picture and enabling them to get out of themselves and out of their the space in which they have uh, lived to understand that to have a healthy and productive life in the future one cannot hide there is no place to hide anymore um, not just from from intelligence but there's no place to hide in terms of, of earning a living or doing anything uh, because everything is interrelated